Tennessee. I'm a software developer, and I spend way too much time on Twitter. <laughs> the one thing I want to talk to you about today is open spaces, because yep. right now we're at Code Mesh in Sandusky, Ohio, and you are in charge of, is that the right word? No. You I'm are not organizing, you are facilitating. I am facilitating. That's you're right. facilitating the open spaces here at Code Mesh. And I know you, this is something you have a lot of passion for. Tell us, for those of us who don't know, what is Open Spaces? Well, Open Spaces is a, uh, a, it's a way to have a meeting. It's a format for having a meeting, and it, uh, that's the simplest explanation. But it's not just any meeting. It's a meeting where the attendees set the agenda so that the topics that are discussed are the topics that are, they are most passionate about. And as a result, people take a lot of responsibility for the success of the event, and you get a lot richer, higher value, uh, much better signal-to-noise ratio in the conversations and interactions of these meetings than you do in typically run meetings that are more top-down. Well, what's a typical topic uh, or examples of topics? There think? are no typical topics. So here, let's talk about this. There is. Uh, yeah. Open space is, is very successful in environments where uh, open space technology uh, is the formal name for it. It's very successful in situations where there's contention, where there, uh, there's conflict to be resolved, where there's a problem that has to be solved right now and there's no clear solution for it. Uh, but, and in those situations, you know, you'd be trying to produce some results, some document or some design or that kind of thing. But uh, open space technology works very well where the actual interaction is an end in itself, so the conversation is an end in itself. And in that case, uh, instead of having some big driving issue, we come up with a theme for the event that is a, a generalization of the mood of the group. And so our theme here at Code Mesh this year was uh, techniques, not tools, uh, because the people in participating felt like that was where they were in their software development practice and what they wanted to talk about. And what I explained to people when they were proposing the topics is that the theme is there to act as boundaries in case you, the, you know, the conversations get gets lost. You can come back to the theme as kind of a guideline, but don't let it limit your topics. So the topics we've had have been how to get started in speaking and building a personal brand and what is an architect and uh, you know, pair programming. So they pretty much cover the map uh, and just given the, the people that are attending, they stay within the realm of software development. Yeah, I notice those are all kind of open-ended topics. They're not like uh, what is the uh, best way to apply a style sheet to a web page, exactly. things like that. They're, they're all about questions that may or may not have one single definitive answer. Right, because everybody's going to leave the conversation with their own understanding. Everybody's going to learn and they're going to learn what they need to learn and, and uh, often walk out with more questions than answers, uh -huh. but that's a good thing. But they're enhanced by the conversation. Exactly, other right. Opinions. All right, great. I was at the uh, Open Spaces at DevLink in Murfreesboro. I know you were a big part of that, and I was impressed by uh, the enthusiasm people had. Right. People were well, really excited about it. I think, yeah. uh, for me, it was my first time doing Open Spaces at a conference, and I think that was true of a lot of people there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and that's why I like it, is because people are passionate. I've done a lot of... Uh, speaking and presenting to user groups and at events and that sort of thing and uh, I like to have the audience engaged. And while the audience may be smaller in open space because it's not for everyone, uh, the audience that's there is definitely engaged. Uh, you, know, you had said enthusiasm it immediately came to my head that uh, Harrison Owen, the guy who coined the, phrase, the name open space technology and created this form of having meetings, says that uh, open space relies on two things. Uh, Passion and responsibility. Uh, you, one without the other doesn't hold up. But if you've got passion and you're willing to take responsibility for you know, having the conversation or for fulfilling whatever the uh, issue is that you, you need to discuss and resolve, uh, then Open Spaces is for you. Okay. And what's your role in this conference? Well, as a facilitator, so Open Spaces is a way to have a meeting. You can have an entire conference that's just an open space, and that's sure. fairly common. People have talked about that. I haven't right. seen it done and around here. I thought it was a really great format that I got a lot out of because I do a lot of speaking, and I've been to a lot of presentations, and I don't always want to do that, but I love to come to events in order to network with people. So I wanted to have open spaces in parallel with developer conferences so that, uh, so that we could engage new people that might not, they wouldn't go to a full open space conference. 
And in fact, uh, because the first session of an open space is the opening circle where we actually create the agenda for the rest of the meeting, uh, a lot of people won't go to that, but once they see the agenda created, they see the topics and say, oh, that's interesting, I wanna go to that. So uh, as, as far as my contribution to CodeMash, it is to uh, provide more value for edge cases that we might not, our most successful open space yesterday, I was successful in the, the met, this is not success, but the metric I'm using right now is that the most people attended. So the one that the most people attended was one on personal branding. Who would have thunk it? I mean, I talked to Jim Holmes, the organizer, uh, the, or one of the organizers of CodeMash, and I said, you would have never ex accepted a talk on creating a personal brand at CodeMash. He was like, no way. Right. But it turned out to be a, something that there was a lot of interest, a lot of passion, a lot of enthusiasm around that topic. And so my contribution is to, to give a, a, a space and a voice to those issues that, that may be edge cases, but there's still a lot of interest in them. Uh, and, and to introduce open space to more people that wouldn't come to it otherwise. Sure, maybe educate people that uh, don't know how, uh, how to get started. Exactly, right. Yeah. So, when the, so what I've noticed in doing this a few times is that uh, it starts out with just people who already know open spaces. They come to the opening circle, we get it rolling, we set the agenda. And the first few uh, meetings are just those people. But over time, more and more people from the conference come and, and get engaged and it builds energy across the two days. Uh, and, and that's great. And then the next time I do one of these things, I have more people at the opening circle because they've done it before. Uh, that makes your job easier each time. Right, and my job, so let's, let's, let's talk about my job real yeah. quick because my job is to, uh, to open the space and hold the space. That is, I help set the tone, get the group focused, get them uh, directed and guided into creating their agenda and get out of the way. My right. job after that is to straighten chairs and pick up coffee It should cups. just run itself. People should be engaged. Right, and, and, and the, there's a, a user's guide to open space, and it actually says, after you do the opening circle, go take a nap. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, actually I went and had breakfast, but yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I got away from there because the point is that if I stick around, people have seen me for the last hour and a half as a, some kind of authority, and I need to get away so they can take responsibility for Good themselves. Good call, let them take ownership and, of and it. it. And it works, you know, I came back and they had like written up signs and taped them to the wall and done all the things they needed to do in order to, to make their open space successful and productive and I just get out of the way you know I'm, I'm here to, to, to grease the wheels well from what I've heard uh, it's going great people are really excited about it mm -hmm. and I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us oh, thanks, thank Dad. you Alan Stevens <laughs>